Hi I'm James and in this video I'm taking a look at if you can play Watch Dogs 2 with just 4GB of memory. So you can see in this test system here I've reduced it from what was a 16GB configuration for my previous test to a single 4GB DIMM. Uh, this is a discrete graphics solution, so this is a GeForce uh, GTX 870M in this machine. Um, obviously if you're using integrated graphics, going to a single DIMM will have a negative impact on performance and probably you'll have more of an effect from dropping to just 4 gigs of memory as well because obviously the um, graphics card or graphics driver uses some of the system memory for graphics purposes. That isn't so much the case here, some is reserved on it because it has Intel for the display and Nvidia for 3D rendering, um, but that's by the by. Anyway, I've cut out some of the loading here, it loaded in sort of normal kind of time, um, but what we're seeing is the game loads up normally, uh, we're just loading in one of my saved games, we're running it at 1080p and the medium detail preset and things seem to work. I'm only early on in the game as you can see from that save game it's just after the introductory mission which I've been using just for filming all of these videos. Um, I did notice frame rates did seem to be a little bit down on what I'd experienced just when testing the 870M. Um, I think I'd seen typically frame rates were not dropping below 30 frames per second. Um, whereas with 4 gigs of memory, I did experience a bit of sort of slowdown and stuttering. You could see it there where sort of drawing the gun, the game slowed down briefly. Um, and similarly, when I'm driving later on in this video, there's just the occasional slowdown and stutter that I didn't really experience when I was running with uh, 16 gigs of memory. And I wouldn't have expected if I was running with 8. That could be partly down to just having less memory bandwidth um, when it's loading stuff in, but I suspect it's because it's having to do a little bit more loading just because it can't keep so much data in memory. Anyway, I'm just going to keep this video running for a little bit and you can see sort of what gameplay looks like. Um, be sure to check out my other performance videos for how this game runs uh, on different graphics cards as well uh, on the channel and I'll put a little playlist button up in the top corner as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.